What's up guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Sun Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon Wi-Fi battle. God, why do I keep saying Sun and Moon? Uh, anyway, we are having another RU tier match using the same team, but this time we are facing off against Gandhi or Sep from my Discord server. If you guys would like to battle me, hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, or Discord. Links as always are in the description below. So we're having an RU match. My my uh, my guy Sep here is using a really interesting looking team. He he loves Ditto for some reason, and uh, I think he's brought it a couple times that I battled him. We battled him a couple times on the channel. Anyway, he's got the Ditto, the Feraligator, which is always a threat. He has the Necrozma, which Necrozma is another one of those mons that for some reason dropped down to RU. I cannot believe Necrozma is an RU. But then again, it was in you for a while, but with move tutors and everything, Necrozma's move pool is pretty damn good. I'm honestly surprised to see him so low. But anyway, he also has the Golisopod, which is definitely a problem. This thing hits like a damn truck. He also has the Kamo-O, Kamo something like that. Uh, and then he also has the uh, Verlicify there on his team. Looking at my team, we've got the Mesprit, the Comfey, the Decidueye, we have the Araquanid, Nidoqueen, and the Kamala. This battle was really fun, guys. I hope you'll enjoy. So the battle begins, I'm going to lead off with my Mesprit, as my opponent is going to lead off with his Ditto. And because most Ditto are Choice Scarfed and I'm Choice Scarfed, we are having the definition of a mirror match here. So we're both Choice Scarfed. Unfortunately for me, my opponent is going to win the speed tie. I've got that young Chad Luck going, and uh, he's going to go for the uh, knockoff here. That's going to knock off my Choice Scarf, but I am going to return the favor and go for a knockoff of my own, getting rid of his Choice Scarf. And uh, it's funny, it looks like we actually got like the same damage roll. We both look like we did about the same damage with our knockoffs. And uh, unfortunately here on the second turn, he is going to win the speed tie yet again and kill me off with the U-turn. But it's not all bad because he killed me off with his U-turn. He has to bring in his mon first and I can adjust to it. So he's going to bring out his fucking Verlicify looking thing. And uh, I'm going to bring out my boy Hank here. And Hank is ready to fuck some shit up. My opponent's scared, so he's going to swap out. He's going to bring out this damn Ditto yet again, and he's going to swap, or he's going to uh, transform into me again. And uh, here, I'm just going to go for the substitute, just to ba basically make it a little bit harder for this Comfey, this fake Comfey, to, uh, to manage me. So here, I'm just going to go for the Draining Kiss. I'm basically going to spam Draining Kiss, because I don't want this thing to start setting up with Calm Minds and shit, that's going to be very, very annoying. And um, yeah, so he's going to go for the Draining Kiss here. And to basically to kill him, I need to get to, I need to basically lose a speed tie and win a speed tie to kill him. Um, so he actually wins that speed tie there. And uh, here he wins it again. So he's going to go for another Draining Kiss. He's getting honestly a decent amount of HP back, even though it's not doing too much damage. And uh, on the second Draining Kiss, he's actually going to be able to break my Substitute. And uh, here, I'm just going to go for the Draining Kiss. I'm just going to keep going for Draining Kiss. There's really no point in setting up the sub at this point. I really just want to get this Ditto the hell up out of here. <laughs> so here, my opponent's actually going to swap and try to conserve his Ditto. He's going to bring out Gandypod. <laughs> for whatever reason, my opponent loves to name his Mons after himself. And uh, Shiny shiny Glossopod looks pretty badass. I love, I love it's Shiny, even though it's a slight change. I still love it. So here, for whatever reason, I should have swapped out. Prob Honestly, I probably should have swapped out, but I go for the substitute. I think what I was doing was trying to waste his first impression because I know, um, or actually no, that wouldn't even, I don't, yeah, that wouldn't have even worked because he has priority. I don't know why I went for that substitute there. I should have just swapped out, honestly. But anyway, he's going to go for the liquidation and uh, I'm going to swap out now and uh, I'm going to bring out my boy Bubble Butt here and uh, Araquanid's just here to set up these sticky webs. My opponent's going to go for the Aqua Jet. And even resisted, that does a lot of damage. Like like I said before, this Araquanid is not bulky at all. Um, even resisted hits do a dick load of damage. And uh, here he's going to bring out his Ditto as I go for the sticky webs. And unfortunately he brings it out on the, t on the turn that I get up the sticky web. So it's not going to affect the Ditto, unfortunately. But uh, here my opponent is going to set up sticky webs of his own, basically using my move against me. And uh, I'm just going to kill this damn ditto off because it's a pain in the ass, really. 
Um, I'm just gonna go for the liquidation here and kill this thing off just to finally have this damn ditto out of here. This thing was a pain in the ass. Um, even though I got rid of its uh, its choice scarf. So anyway, my opponent is now going to bring out the Komo'o. Now my opponent actually makes a decent play here, um, predicting my Hank to come back out, the Kumfe, uh, because he's obviously four times weak to fairy. He actually is going to bring out Gandipod, which was a pretty pretty solid play, not gonna lie. So that is exactly what I'm gonna do. He read me like a damn book here. So I'm gonna swap out into the Hank and uh, basically swap back out, I believe, because uh, I don't want Hank taking too much damage here. And uh, I'm going to get affected by the sticky webs here and take some uh, leftovers. Sorry, the turns <laughs> the turns this battle are going to take a while just because of the leftovers and everything and all the other little effects and shit. But yeah, I'm going to get out of here because I definitely do not want to deal with this Golisopod with Hank just yet. I kind of want to get this thing a little bit lower than it is. And uh, I'm basically just bringing in Raquinid here to kill it off. Um, basically just to sack it off and bring in something else. So he's going to go for the first impression. That is going to kill off a Raquinid. And uh, here I'm going to bring out Allover Queen, the Decidueye. And uh, basically I was trying so hard to get a Decidueye sweep. That's what the uh, Sticky Webs are mainly for. Because Decidueye has okay speed. But uh, the Sticky Webs definitely help. Now for... Whatever reason my opponent goes for the Aqua Jet, it does activate his emergency exit. I don't know if that was on purpose or what. I I guess it was. But uh, he's going to activate his emergency exit and swap into Necrozma. This turn was fucking flames, guys. Holy shit. I was actually going for the Z move, the Decidium, whatever it's called, Decidium Z or whatever. So it turns into... Ah, oh, fuck, what is it called? Sinister Arrow Raid, that's right. This fucking animation looks badass, and I'm hoping this is not one of those animations that get flagged for, like, copyright or whatever. God, I love that animation so much. And it actually ends up killing the Necrozma in one shot, guys. Holy hell. Necrozma actually has decent bulk, plus its ability reduces the damage of super effective attacks. I was honestly a little bit shocked that killed, but holy hell. I love that fucking animation, that was sick as hell. And uh, here he's gonna bring out his damn Verlissify looking motherfucker. As uh, I'm just gonna go for the uh, Leaf Blade here as he's going to sucker punch me. It is super effective but I do manage to hang on with just a sliver of HP. And uh, he's actually Focus Sash, I do remember him being Focus Sash before. Uh, he's used this thing quite a few times when I battled him. Now here he actually goes for the, I kinda figured he would go for the sucker punch again. I'm actually gonna go for the Roost here just to get some uh, some clean HP back and uh, basically just swap out here and keep my uh, Oliver Queen in the back for uh, for safekeeping. Now here, I'm gonna bring out my boy Morningwood here. <laughs> I fucking love that nickname. Anyway, he's gonna go for the Sucker Punch as I bring in Morningwood here. And uh, I'm going to go for the Rapid Spin to get rid of his Sticky Webs. And uh, he's gonna go for the Sucker Punch again. It's gonna do decent damage because I'm more especially bulky. This is actually AV uh, Kamala max attack, max special defense with uh, assault vest, and uh, yeah. So I have like no defensive investment whatsoever. So that actually did a decent amount of damage to me. So here he's gonna bring out his Gandy Pod once again, and here I believe I could actually go for the sucker punch of my own just to get damage off. But he's actually just gonna go for the first impression and kill me off. That's fine. He out prioritized me. It's whatever. But uh, this thing's getting pretty damn low because of his life orb and shit. So I'm gonna bring out Oliver Queen. I was not expecting this thing to also have Sucker Punch, but apparently he does. And unfortunately for me, that is going to kill off my Decidueye before I can get the Decidueye sweep. But that is fine and dandy because I got my man Hank in the back, putting the team on his back. He is going to basically clean up Seb's team here. So here I kind of felt like maybe he would swap into something but really he's running out of options for this thing he actually goes for the aqua jet and crits me it does a dick load of damage considering a max HP max defense but uh, anyway I'm just gonna go for the calm mind because it is pretty safe and uh, it's gonna boost my uh, special attack and special defense by one stage I'm gonna get some leftovers and uh, it is time for us to basically kiss his team to death. So he's going, or Hank is going to go for the draining kiss here, kill off the Gandy Pod, and uh, let's see, what does he bring out next? So basically, pretty much Hank is just going to run train through his, the rest of his team here. Let's see, what's he bring out next? Gandy Gator. 
So he's gonna bring out his for alligator and honestly had I not had the Giga Drain on this thing, Candy Gator could have probably probably reverse swept me honestly. But thankfully I do have the Giga Drain. That's actually a fun new move that uh Comfey got via the Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon uh, move tutors, so it didn't actually originally have that. Plus it works well with Comfey's ability and triage, it actually gets priority, so it's pretty damn cool. So unfortunately it takes two uh, Giga Drains here to kill off the Gandy Gator. And his last mon, let's see, what the fuck was his last mon? I can't remember. I actually get a useless crit there on the second uh, Giga Drain there. Oh, that's right. His last mon is the uh, Kamo'o. I couldn't remember. But yeah, so his last mon's Kamo'o, and uh, he's four times weak to fairy. I was actually expecting this to kill him. Um, so I go for Draining Kiss here. It's four times super effective. I'm at plus one. He actually barely, barely hangs on with like a sliver of HP. And uh, he told me, he went for the uh, Dragon Z move because he, he told me he didn't think that he was going to live. So... And uh, he also told me he did not have the poison jab or anything, so it didn't really matter uh, what he went for at this point in the battle. He he basically lost. Like, there's nothing he could have done without poison jab or uh, without the poison Z move or whatever. So, yeah, it, he, <laughs> he thought he was going to uh, die from the first draining kiss, so he just went for the dragon uh, Z move. And obviously, being a fairy type, it's not going to affect Hank. And that's my boy Hank sweeping up the rest of his team. And that was a great game, Gandy. We will definitely have another match sometime soon. And uh, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching my content. And uh, yeah, I love you guys. Peace out.